Today, I have three hours to build the best team possible in NHL 24. Actually, scratch that. We have an additional three hours. We've already done this once before. This is the team after the first time we did three hours on the game. It looks okay. We have some good stuff and some bad stuff. But today, we're going to do an additional three hours. Today, I will be hopping into moments, hut rush, doing some squad battles and whatever else I can to improve this team and make it as competitive as possible. So again, here is the squad that we have. We have that Claude Giroux for moments. We got Tim Stutzel as our starting X-Factor. And we pulled this 87 Luke Hughes. Nick Lidstrom is from the Gallery of Great Objectives. And Bobby Orr, of course, was a free card in the store. Everything else that you see here was either pulled or earned in sets. Today, the plan is to do the exact same thing. Have a timer for three hours, hop in the hut, do whatever I can to try and improve this team, and hopefully show you guys that you do not need to spend a ton of time building a team. All you have to do is a few things. I'm going to sit here for the next 50 seconds, and when that timer hits zero, and we're at exactly three hours, I'm going to go ahead and start my journey. We have both our Christmas pack and our Celebrity Choice pack in the store, so that's really going to help. We have moments to complete to get free players, packs, and coins, and I'm going to try and get some objectives done as well to improve the team. So let's go ahead and hop into this. Five, four... Three, two, one. So here we are. We're going to open up our Celebrity Choice Pack. We just took a look at the team. And one thing that I think we need help with is the left side. So we're going to go with Zach Bell. Welcome aboard. Okay, so we have Zach Bell on the team now. 87 overall. We're going to add him in. And that's going to help us with moments and whatever else that we're going to use. And now we're going to head over to our Christmas Choice Pack, which is at the end of the store. And we're going to open that up. And we're going to take Seth Jones. And that's going to help improve the defense here. So our free Winter Holiday Pack. Thank you very much. Let's go ahead and open this up and we're going to take Seth Jones and now the defense is looking way, way better. If these menus weren't so damn slow, we get so much more done, but it is what it is. This is, you know, how the game is. We're going to go ahead and throw uh, Zach Bell on the first line here. And then the plan for me is to do the moments with Zach Bell, get those collectibles and hopefully improve the team that way. So we're going to get rid of Al McKinnis here and put in Seth Jones. And yeah, the first thing we're going to do is just hop right into moments here. We're going to go to the celebrity moments. And I'm going to do as many as I can in that one to get the collectibles. You can trade in those collectibles for other things. So uh, here is the Zach Bell moment. You get 29 collectibles out of here. I need to take eight lacrosse shots. I need to perform 10 deeks. And then um, actually, if I do just that, I will get everything done. So I need to take a bunch of lacrosse shots. Let's go ahead and hop into this and hopefully get it done quickly. Of course, for this, I will switch to total control. It's just easier to get it done. And we should have Bell on the first line for us. What are these jerseys? EA, are you joking? This is what I have to deal with? This is a joke, right? This is stupid. All right. How easy can I get these done? Five minutes later. Turns out not very quickly. I got one in that entire period. He just keeps bobbling the damn puck. This could be a problem. Doesn't help that I can't tell if I have the puck or my, the other team has it, but spam toe drags here. Make sure we're going to get some collectibles. Is that another one? Okay, that's two. All right. We should be able to get some collectibles out of here anyways. The thing is, with these collectibles, you can trade them in for player packs. Guaranteed celebrity players that can be added to the team. They can be as good as, like, Timu Solani or Rick Nash. That would be super helpful. 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so that's one done. Don't have to worry about that. Be a shot. They didn't give me that one. Damn, man. So close. All right, this should be three here. No, guy got in the way again, man. Well, I don't think I'm going to get the big one done. Well, we got two of them done at least. I'll keep trying here, but I don't think it's going to happen. I'm going to be 10 honest with you. I just cannot get him to actually take the shot. He just keeps either bobbling it or somebody's blocking it. Okay, wait. I need two more. I need two more, right? Two more. Ah, oh, man. It's going to be close. It's going to be close. I might be able to get it done, but I got to get lucky. Okay, I need one more. Let's do it. No! No! Give me the puck. Okay, we have, we have we have two minutes left. I need one more of these. If I get it, we get the collectibles. That's going to be huge. Go for it. Yep. Yep. Don't block it. Bro, they didn't give it. You're joking. They didn't give it to me. They didn't give it to me. There's no shot that that just happened. Yep, I can't even get the puck now. You got to be joking. They didn't give it to me. Damn. All right. I don't want to spend more time on this. Maybe I do, though. The collectibles would be great. I can't believe they didn't give me that. I can't believe that doesn't count. All right. Um, how many collectibles did I get and what can I do with them? Because if I need one more, I need one more. Um, if I want to do that again, I can. It will probably take a decent amount of time, but it might be worth it. We ended up getting 
Uh, 15 collectibles. What can I do with 15? Okay, so it's seven for, for, for one player. We can get two players out of this. I kind of want to do the rest of the, the objectives then, or just get the, the shots because that would be two more players for the team. But we'll open this up. We'll see what we get. If we end up getting a couple of really good players here, I might not bother, but like I would love another chance at like Solani or Nash, you know what I mean? Someone to really help the team. All right, what do we have in the unopened packs? Nice, we have a base pack. I don't even know what that's for, but cool. Thank you very much. We'll skip it, of course. Do we have anything in it? No, that's fine. Moving on. We have our two celebrity packs here. We are guaranteed at least, I think, an 83, 84, something like that. We get Cam Fowler 82. Okay, that's not good. We need something better than that in the next one. If we don't get something pretty good here, I'm doing the rest of those uh, objectives. And we get Bob Prober 86. I will take that. I want to do the rest of these. I want two more of these packs. I definitely feel like it's worth it. I might take me another 10 minutes or something, but if I can get it done on this attempt... That would be huge. Another two of those players. We, we could potentially get, like I said, Timo Solani or something. There's, yeah, 14 collectibles here. And then we could do more, right? We could do the perform any deke and just let the, the periods play out and whatnot. I don't know if I'm down for that. I don't know if that's a smart idea, but we could look into doing it. Anything to get more of these players, you know what I mean? Well, I don't have time to fix my jerseys. I totally forgot about that. So let's just hopefully uh, get it done this time because being colorblind sucks. Uh, I think even if you're not colorblind, this sucks. Don't get me wrong. All right, well, we're at three already. We should be able to get this done. I don't know why I had so much trouble the first time doing this. Now, don't get me wrong. Obviously, I want Timu Solani. I want um, Rick Nash is another really good one you can get. However, I really hope I don't get a duplicate. Like, imagine I pull Bob Probert three times. I would be furious. And that went in somehow. That's funny. That was ridiculous. I'll take it. Three to go. All right, this should do it right here. As long as I get the shot off. Bru okay, they won't give me... that. That's twice now where I should have had it. I don't know, man. Are they trying to screw me here? Can, is this impossible? Let's we'll make it so that way you can't actually get it done. Let's find out. Okay, they gave it to me. Cool. So that took 20 minutes. We're 20 minutes in. And so far, I've gotten an 82 and an 86. And we're about to get two more of those packs with potentially two more 86s or two more 82s. We don't really know. All right, what are we going to get? Come on, EA. Be good to us. We want that Timu Solani. We need a right-handed forward pretty badly. Imagine that first line, Timu Solani 86, Bob Prober 86, and Claude Giroux 87. Until we get our hands on that Martin Natchez from moments, it's probably what we're going to have to do is try and get that Natchez and hope that we can get that done pretty quickly. That's going to be tough. Now, how many collectibles do I have left over? Just the one? Yeah, I just have one. So I would need to do two more moments to get them. I'm not going to bother. We're just going to leave it as it is. And we're going to take these two packs here and pray that we get Timu Solani in one of them or like Rick Nash. More at Cider. That's great for the defense. That really helps. Okay, I will take that. And we get one more. Come on, EA. Please. Please. Trevor Zegers, 83. Do you know what? It, it's better than nothing. All right, so we added in more at Cider. Here's what the, the D is looking like. It's actually looking pretty solid. I can't complain with the defense. And here's a look at the forwards. We got Zegers on line two with Stutzla. We have Ovi, we have Probert, Giroux, and Zach Bell. All right, next step. We're going to hop into more moments. I'm going to try and get the uh, Martin Natchez moments done here. Actually, before I do that, do I want to do any of these ones over here? Um, so if I hop into like a moment right here, I can get a prime pack. Just getting this prime pack would be helpful. And it's not like it's going to take a lot of time. Prime Pack can give us some players for the team. We have power-up collectibles and whatnot available in here as well. Uh, there's a lot that we could do, but I think it's smarter for us to go after the 89 uh, nature. So let's go ahead and start those. Okay, two assists, five hits, and two goals. This is easy. It should not take long at all. I need to change my jerseys, right? Please tell me I'm the away team or something. Is there a way for me to just change my jerseys from in here? We are the away team, so we need to wear our reds and then the white is the home team for whatever reason. So got to try and get this done as quickly as possible. All right, Kasha, what do you got for me? Need a goal. And we got it. All right, that's one assist done already. See if we can do the exact same thing here. Get this uh, like moment done within like a minute. That'd be amazing. Just to get those collectibles and get us on our way to getting this 89 overall in HS. There's the win. There's Kasha. Kasha cuts in. Defense is off a little bit. Go to the backhand. Scores. There it is. Two objectives already done. Now we just need five hits with Marty HS. All right, we need one more. Doesn't matter if we take a penalty on this one more because it will be the end of our objectives. So let me get control of Natchez. Got him up here. Run into a guy. Hits are done. Let him score. Damn, come on. Not trying to waste time here. Let them score. Get the game over. Shoot the puck! Oh dear god, you've got to be kidding me. 
Thank you, it's over. We'll go ahead and get those collectibles. We have two more objectives to complete to get Martin HS. All right, so that one's done. We need two assists, a goal with Zadina, and then four total goals. All right, let's hop in and see if we can get it done. See if we can do the exact same thing here that we did with uh, the first challenge, win the draw. Pass it up to Zadina and see if we can cut, get him to cut in. There it is. Shoot. Ah, saved by the goalie. Not this time. All right, there's the goal with Zadina. We got one of them done. Jeez, this is taking way longer than I wanted. Just couldn't score with him. Now that we have uh, a little bit more freedom to score goals, we can get that done. But I still need two assists from Natchez. I will likely be doing this moment again, which is just going to waste more time. But I cannot get a damn goal with an assist from Natchez. I just can't do it. This is my fifth time doing this challenge. My fifth one, like in general, not, not on this account. I just mean like my fifth time. I did it for Glide and Glory, my main account, my free to play team, whatever. Um, never had issues with it, so this sucks. All right, well, just like that, we're tied at three, and I'm one assist away from getting it done. I just took over with Natchez. I was forcing it too much with the other players. Let Natchez do all the work. Let's see if we can get that fourth goal here. Sedina, bang, I got it done. Just like that. I took over with Natchez here in the, uh, in the third period. Let him do all the work. Zadina ends up getting a hat trick, and we have all of the objectives done now. Let's go. One more to do. On to the final moment. This is the hard one. This is you need three bottom right goals, and uh, you need two assists and five total goals. Take a look at the team. I don't know if I'll be able to get it done first try, but I will do my absolute best. All right, you know what? We're done the first period. I didn't get anything done there. I'm just going to restart. We got zero done there. Restart from the beginning here, because like if I can't get it done in one period, I have two periods left. I don't trust myself to get it all done in two periods. So let's try again here. All right, let's see what we can do. Start from the back, work our way up, wait for them to freeze. There it is. He's in on the forehand. That's one. No, it was top shelf. We need to go bottom shelf. Damn it. Either way, it's a goal. That's another goal, but another non bottom shelf or bottom corner. So we're getting the goals here, but we're not getting what we need. All right, they gave me that one. Okay, so we're up to three goals here. See, so yeah, all I had to do is restart, and now that I have a feel for what we're doing here, should be all right. So I need two more goals, bottom corner, two goals in total, and then I need two assists with Natchez. We should be able to get this done in 16 minutes. I think we can get that done. All right, that's two. We need one more bottom goal, one more goal in total, and then we just need the two assists. I don't know if I'll get the assists done in this game, but I can definitely get this last bottom corner and get the hard ones out of the way. Then just work on the assist, right? We're only 10 minutes into the first period here. Should be able to get this done. And there it is. We got it. Nice little uh, passing play from Picard. Let's go. Now we just need the two assists. All right, that's one assist. Thank you for the follow, Benji. But uh, we got one assist done. We need one more assist. If it comes down to it, I guess I can pull the goalie and try to get the empty netter. We have lots of time left, so I'll try and get it done properly. Besides, the faster I get it done, the better. We save more time. We still have nine minutes until uh, the two-hour mark. Wait. Wait. Bang! There it is. We're done. And there it is. 89 Martin HS added to the team just like that. And we still have 10 minutes to spare until the one-hour mark of doing this. So very happy with how this has gone so far. All right, all right, all right. Thank you very much. Great addition. So we now have an 89, an 87, another 89, another 87 on the team. We have an 86. We're doing a lot better than we were. And honestly, I'm, I'm pretty happy. We've, we've, we're not even four hours into the total. We're not even an hour in today, and we have a lot done. There's a 1,000 coins. That'll help. We also have 2,000 coins from that. That's helpful as well. Natchez, obviously, on the first line. Our first line is now 89, 87, 87. Second line is 86, 85, 83. Let's see if we can improve that a little bit more here. I don't know if I have any collectibles or anything to trade in right now. I have no clue, and I don't know even if I did, if I get anything. Um, I just, let's see what I have. I, I just have the one, yeah. So I'm not expecting anything from there. One sec, let me see what I have, because anything helps, you know, maybe we pull something. We have two. Okay, hold on. We can get a base pack, right? Yeah, we can get a base pack or a, wait, we can get a base pack or a premium pack or a four gold player pack. Why can you get a base pack and a premium pack for the same price? I'll never know, but we'll do the premium pack. Give ourselves a chance at either getting a, a power-up collectible or um, maybe a player for the team or something. You know what I mean? Actually, I could have done two base packs. That would have been more 
more useful. Whatever, it's fine. We get four players in here. Will we get anything to add to the team? Anything helpful whatsoever? The answer is no. Well, I can tell you one thing I'm going to do right now is change my jerseys. I don't care what it turns into, but I am not using the ones that I'm using now. But I'm going to be playing any normal games. I think I'm going to hop in the hot rush here. Play two or three games, get 400, 500, 600k, whatever I can get in those three games, and get all these different uh, packs and, and whatever else we can get to try and help improve the team just a little bit. Now, of course, I'm not going to sit here and make you watch me play Hut Rush. So what I'm going to do is play the game mode. I'll get everything. I'll show you how many points I get per game, and then we'll open up the packs afterwards. Now, guys, I've already done videos in the past on how to get Hut Rush done quickly. So if you ever want to look at those and you're curious on what I do and, and how to get points, really, it's the rule of three. You always do three actions before you score a goal. Um, doing that will give you a way bigger boost than just scoring the goal itself. You know, spam toe drag, spam, uh, what is it, hip checks. Um, go for fancy goals. You'll get a lot of points done. And you'll get a lot of the objectives done as well. An important thing to remember when doing Hut Rush here. Hold on, let me get that goal. Um, important thing to remember when doing Hut Rush is that when you do a deke, you need to do the deke near a player. You can't just spam deeks or spam toe drags in your own zone or when you're not near somebody, they will not count. Just so that way, you know why something might not be working. Make sure you're deking out a player. That's the only way to work. Also for transparency, I'm doing this on semi-pro. Um, doing this on rookie is not a bad idea either if you really wanted to. But the thing is, on semi-pro, difficulty is pretty much the same. Like honestly, it's not much of a difference, but you get a little bit more of a boost um, for everything you do. So you might as well play on semi-pro. That's only when you're doing objectives, though. Um, normally, I would just suggest playing on Superstar, even if you can't beat them. You are guaranteed, like, 15k per game, even if you don't win on Superstar and you do absolutely nothing. I need three more Windmill Deeks, seven more hits, 21 more shots. That's going to be bad. Now, one thing I totally forgot to mention, between the legs passes. You get 175 per pass. If you're doing it on Superstar, you're getting, like, 700 per pass or something like that. It works out really nicely, so you might as well be doing it. All right, so this one's done. How many points did I get for the one game here? Close to 200, 190k. That's not too bad. Uh, I am going to hop into one more of these ones, get the snapshots done. I think it's an additional 25 or 50k. And then we'll hop into one more of the other mode, and that'll probably be it for Rush. But we'll have a lot of points accumulated, be a bunch of packs and a bunch of chances at getting a good player for the team. Now, because I won those ones, I'm just going to switch to Superstar on this one and just try and get my 10 shots done that way. Uh, you'll get way more points for playing on Superstar and losing than you would for winning on, uh, on, on like, Rookie or something. So you might as well just do it on Superstar. If you're someone that struggles on, like, Pro or something, I would always play online. Not only would you get even more points than playing on Superstar, but you have a better chance at winning, in my opinion. Did I get the shots done? I didn't realize. Yeah, so shots are done. I just need uh, one more goal here, uh, if I get the two uh, Money Puck anyways. And then we'll be done on this one, and we'll move on to the other Hot Rush. But we're doing all right here. You know, I, I, I'm guaranteed, what, 30, 45... I think 47k as of right now for this game, plus the 50. So then we'll get around 100k for this game. Maybe a little bit more, actually, because we scored that goal there. So should be around 100k, though. So we get 20, that's uh, 100, over 110, 115. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. So that'll help a lot. We're over 300k now. Let's hop into the other hot rush, and then we'll open up our packs after we're done a, a game or two of that. And uh, we'll see if we can get ourselves anything good. Now, don't get me wrong. The hot rush packs are not amazing. I'm not expecting anything in them. But if we do get something great, if not, we're still getting stuff that we can trade in for other players or for collectibles or whatever else. I need 21 timers, 25 passes, uh, the 25 stride deeks. Let's go ahead and get this done. This shouldn't take too long. All right, now to get stride deeks done. Now, the thing is, the stride deek says you need to score goals with them. You don't. You just need to perform the stride deek. You see, I did a bunch of them there, and I already have four of 25 completed. So um, make sure you do that. Honestly, all you have to do is hold L1 and move the left stick back and forth, and you'll, you'll get a decent amount of points for doing it, and 100k for getting it done. It's definitely worth it. All right, this game's done. I don't know how many points I'm going to get for it, but it should be a decent amount. We got quite a bit done. All right, so 126 isn't too bad, so we'll probably end up playing one more, and the reason I really want to get at least one more, if not two more, done, I'll go ahead and show you. We have time. I think we've done a really good job so far today on what we're building. Uh, maybe we'll uh, go make an icon after this. Maybe do like Joe Sackick or something. Just to make the bottom six a little bit better. The top six even if he makes it. But um, there's these 10 Rush collectibles. I really want to get them. I feel like we can do something with them. So I need 100k. If I make four passes in this game, I'm already getting 25. So I'm just going to go ahead and try and get some stuff done here. Get 100k. Meet you back here when we're done. And then we'll open up the packs and see what we can do with our Rush collectibles. 
It's not too bad. Okay, another 22, so we're at 20 to 66. Okay, 75. And we'll get like 125 to 130k for this game, which will be enough to get us those collectibles and we can see what we can do with the collectibles that we have, but I was hoping for a bit more, I think. Actually, wait. Wait, wait, wait. I forgot about the win bonus. Forgot about the win bonus. Okay, maybe close to the 150? Maybe a little bit more than that. That's not too bad, then. That's not too bad. Maybe we get two tiers unlocked here. Not totally sure. We get 28. Yeah, so we'll be we'll be pretty close there. 142. That's not too bad. Okay, so we do get the rush collectibles, which is all I really cared about. We don't get the 600k. Doesn't matter. Um, we can come back and do this. We still have an hour and a half left if we want to. But let's go ahead and open up the packs that we just earned. And uh, we'll see what we can do with those collectibles. But we didn't do too bad here. Play four games to get to just under 600k. I uh, don't really care too much about these. The elite pack would be nice. But let's see what we get here. We have some objectives complete, so there we go. It's another 1,200 coins. It's going to put us over 8K. Now, I want to save as many coins as I can and maybe buy a player or two at the end of this video, so we will see what we can do here, but we have some packs, and again, I'm not expecting too much, but you never know. We get Saku Koivu 81. Unfortunately, uh, not going to make the team, but anything we get here could help, you know what I mean? So you never know. Of course, I'm just going to skip everything. That's nice. Another 1,000 coins there. But yeah, I'm going to skip everything because we are trying to get this done as quickly as possible. But um, hopefully we can get something done with these collectibles. We have 13 of them, and I think we got some from our last time doing Rush as well. So I think that would be 16 collectibles. We might be able to get like an 82. We got an 84 overall player here. I believe it's a goalie though, yeah. We got Lars Volden. So we do have a new goalie that we could use. Um, I don't know how much he helps the overall go up and whatnot, but it's a goalie. Would have been nice to have that uh, as a forward, if I'm being honest. The 84 would have been nice to have as a forward. Another 76 here. Now, what's nice is that we are getting uh, players, though. And the players can be used towards sets to make an icon or something if we wanted to. We'll probably end up doing some silver rerolls and jersey rerolls and whatnot. You never know. Maybe we get lucky and end up getting ourselves enough players for, like, an 84 Sackick or Iserman or something like that. You know what I mean? That would be super helpful. Um, yeah, nothing in the pack, so can't expect too much from Heart Rush. Um, if you guys don't know, I do rush every single week, and I never really get anything ever, but it is nice to fill the collection with, and uh, it doesn't take a lot of time to do, right? Premium pack here, not even a color change. We get a gold logo and a gold coach. Two gold coaches, that's rare. Very rare, but okay. And we have our three gold player pack. We'll just skip that as well. Get our collectibles. Nothing great, but we have our collectibles, so that's the important part. All right, what can we do with uh, the Hut Rush collectibles? We have... At least 13, but I think I've seen some in the collection earlier. Uh, looks like we can do nothing. There's an 82 Dylan McElrath we can get. We need 20 for the Mike Madonna. We definitely don't have 20. That's a shame. That's a shame. I thought we were going to be able to do something cool. We only have 14. So that kind of sucks, actually. I thought we had more. I thought we might be able to get a really good player. Now, we could get Dylan McElrath. It doesn't really help us by getting him, right? Like an 82 doesn't really help. What we can do instead is get uh, a couple of packs here. Can we do anything with diamond collectibles? We have 14. We can only get one diamond collectible. Can we do anything with a diamond collectible? Uh, no. No, we cannot. So, great. All right. So, that's kind of disappointing. I'm not going to lie to you, but we'll do a premium pack here, and uh, we'll just keep filling the collection. Kind of disappointing. Um, I don't know if I'm going to continue the series, which is why I'm spending the collectibles now instead of saving them, but, I mean, we, we could save them and then do more packs in a future video, but... After six hours, the team is already going to look really good. I might want to try and cut this down and see what I can do in one hour or something like that. All right, well, no player there, but maybe we get a player in one of these packs. You know, we get a premium pack and some uh, some gold players incoming. You never know. Maybe we get to add someone, not even a color change above. That sucks. Well, three more chances in this pack and three more in the next pack. Come on, EA. Give us at least an 84 or something. Help us out just a little bit. I beg. Please, give me something to help us out for the team literally nothing we can do a silver reroll all right so that's going to be another two gold players i'm going to get as many gold players as i can here i think and uh with with all the gold players we're going to try and do an icon set maybe get joe sackick steve eiserman uh i don't think we need help on defense our defense is looking pretty good so i don't think we worry about that but i think joe sackick or uh or stevie y would be very helpful uh do we need a right-handed player we might need a righty we might need somebody to play on the right side so maybe stevie y would be the way to go all right, so that pack is going to be done. Uh, we'll go ahead and open it up, but I'm pretty sure I'm taking Sackick. Like, I, I can't imagine there's any reason for me to go after anyone else. Joe Sackick is a really good skater, has a really good shot, 
and he's very easy to make. A nice 40 collectible or 40 players for him. Um, I just don't see a reason for us to go after anyone else. I love CBY, and he is right-handed. I just feel like he's too slow for what we're trying to build, right? We're trying to build a team that would be able to be good enough to compete, not uh, a team of my favorite players, you know? I wish you could just skip all these damn animations, EA. And last but not least is going to be Joe Sackick. Now, I'm going to show you the card of Joe Sackick and why I think you should be getting him. Because I know he's kind of small, but he starts out with 90 acceleration, 87 speed, and a really good shot. He starts like that, and as you upgrade him, he just gets better and better and better. Sackick has a great card, and the only other one in here I would suggest taking would be Stevie Y. Um, he's also smaller, but his skating's not nearly as good. He's just better defensively and on the draws and whatnot, so we are going to go with Joe Sackick. The menus are brutally slow today, and it is take like I can't, I, I can't even, I can't do anything right now. The menus are just brutally slow today, and it is what it is. It's part of the challenge, but it sucks. I know we have at least one of these Nations of Hockey collectibles that we can trade in, and I'm gonna get somebody on the right side. We'll go William Nylander. Nylander's a good card. We'll be able to add him into the team, and then I'm gonna try and get some of these objectives done. You know what I mean? I'm gonna try and get a couple of the. Nations of Hockey objectives, whether it's deking or shots or goals or whatever, only have the one collectible, that's fine. Let's add in William Nylander. All right, so I'm just going to hop into a single game of squad battles, and I'm going to try and get some of these objectives done. So, I need to score 10 goals. Getting 10 goals will get me an 83 overall player. If I take 30 shots, I get a mini NHL player pack. 45 assists is going to be very hard to get done, but we also have this week where if I score 10 goals, I get another 83. If I get 40 dekes, another mini NHL player pack. I need to score 35 goals with these players for an elite pack. So I'm going to try and get those done. Now, the question for me is, does Natchez count towards the objectives? I don't know, because he's technically a Nations of Hockey flashback. He's not just a regular flashback. Told if things count or not. Didn't pop up. I did a toe drag. Did it count? Did it count? It did not count. No, it didn't count. That's right there. Try one more just in case. Maybe, like, deek someone out. Okay, so I definitely would have gotten it if it was going to count. I just want to make sure that I'm not wasting time doing things with Natchez. And score a goal. What? I didn't score a goal. Okay, yeah, it doesn't count. It doesn't count. That's fine. Where's Jones yet? Let's do it, Jones. Need everything to be done with you, pretty much. We also have Nylander on the second line if I want to do anything. Okay, now it's saying that it did count. Perform any deek with any player. Or, wait. No, no, no. That's not going to be... That's, that's going to be a different objective. That's going to be a different objective. Okay. All right, so that was a really good period for us. I'm going to go through and just see what I have done. But I know I have a decent amount here. So uh, we have three more deeks to get. Other than that, wow, maybe not nearly as many as I thought. We only had nine shots. Okay, so going to keep it going here. But we should be able to get a couple of things done in this game. Just felt like objectives were popping up like crazy, you know what I mean? And, and I guess that wasn't the case. But we need three deeks. So that's one, two, three. And that is done. Take some shots. All right, that game is done. Let's go see what we are able to get done. I'll probably do a couple more of these, though. Trying to get stuff done, trying to get objectives and packs or whatever else we can get done here. I feel like we have a decent amount done, though. We should get at least coin or something for doing everything we did in that game. Yeah, we have four objectives complete. We're getting 82 David Backus. We're getting a Captain's Collectible, so we can work, do something with that. Another Captain's Collectible. And we get our mini NHL player pack. So we'll go ahead and open that up. Uh, we have, yeah, our 82 David Backus. I guess we can put him on the team. I don't know how much he actually helps. I didn't know the captain's event was still going on, and I don't think there's anything we can really do with an 82 player. Anything in our mini NHL player pack, nothing that's useful. We got two captain collectibles. I guess we could make a couple 82s. That's about it, right? Like, that's that's that, that, that's it. So we have an hour left. We only have the two collectibles, right? I just want to double check. Shouldn't have more than that, yeah. So we, we'll get a couple more 82 overall players. So we have three of them. We only need seven more to be able to do anything with them. Uh, we get that Dylan McElrath, so I'm glad that we didn't end up making him out of the uh, the, the Rush set. Uh, I guess we could add him to the team. And we also get Nicholas Freeman. What's up? Put him in over uh, Radko Gudis, I guess. You know, that, that's you know a bit of an improvement, maybe. McElrath over Gudis. Is it an improvement? I have no idea, but at least it'll help with more objectives. Actually, we ended up getting an, uh, an objective done there. Oh, set, so we get another 1,000 coins. That helps. If I score 14 goals, I get an 84 Danny Briere. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do another rush game, and I'm gonna focus on scoring goals in this game, because holy crap, that would be a helpful card to have. No, it's only an 84, but damn, that would be nice. Let's let's go get that done. 
meaning 14 goals, and doing that will get us an 84 Danny Briere. And actually, uh, getting that done might be helpful, like if I can get a bunch done with the Nations of Hockey cards or something, that might be really helpful too. This could be a good day for us. Hold on. I mean, it's already a great day. Look at our team compared to what we started with. All right, one more period to go. We're at 10 goals here, uh, and we're getting a lot of objectives done here, I feel like. I already see two. Um, I need to play a game of rivals to get like one objective done. I don't think I'm going to bother. I think I'm going to stick with squad battles and make this as easy as I can on myself just to try and get some objectives done, get these extra players, packs, whatever. That Danny Briere would be a nice addition for like line two even at uh, 84 overall. It's a nice, it's a nice card. It is. All right. That game is officially over. We scored 16. We should have unlocked some good stuff for the team now. There's at least three objectives done there. I know we have more than that done as well. So we're going to get some players for the team. Danny Breer added to the team. We should get at least uh, another mini NHL pack or whatever that was. So let's take a look at what we got. Eight objectives completed in that game. That's what I'm talking about. 300 coins, another 500 coins, 82 Guy Carbono. Good to see you. We get 84 Danny Breer. We get 83 Schroeder in a mini NHL player pack. And we get an 83 Eric Johnson. So we really busted this thing open and 2,500 coins for winning some faceoffs. We're definitely going to be adding Eric Johnson to the team, and we're definitely going to add Danny Briere. Um, the other ones, I don't know what... I mean, we could use them for now and try and help with objectives, I guess, in a way. And we have that mini NHL player pack. I'm not expecting too much in it, but you are guaranteed at least 180 or better, so maybe we get lucky in it. Bang! Okay, 82 Markstrom, 81 Sergachev. Markstrom being everyone's preferred choice of goalie this year, that's actually pretty helpful. So Makarath's going to come out because we have EJ. And EJ is definitely better than McElrath, in my opinion. And then we'll just throw Markstrom in here. I think Markstrom looks even better than having Jari on the team. You know what I mean? It just looks better that, oh, oh you have Markstrom. Okay, at least you know what you're doing. So we'll put him in. And then, uh, yeah, we can get rid of Ovi, Nico, and Meyer if we have to for any of these other players. Yeah, throw Schroeder in there. Why not? We'll throw David Backus on the team, too. Um, I don't know if we'll be able to get any other objectives done. Honestly, we have 49 minutes, so we have time. But uh, we'll go ahead and throw Danny Breyer here. Just on the third line for now. But I think he's a good second liner when we're done uh, what we're doing here. Danny Breyer, 84. What are his faceoffs, actually? He's a center. And he has 83 draws. Actually, that's not terrible either. Here's what the team is looking like now. We also have 14,000 coins that we're going to be spending. I mean, the team's looking so good. Honestly, for six hours, this is, this is a good team. Not even six hours. Five hours. We're not done this yet. If we score 23 goals, we get an elite pack. That's a lot for one card type. Is there anything else in the captain's event we can get done? Didn't really look. Perform Deeks with captains to get three collectibles. Okay. Maybe we do some stuff with the captain stuff here, right? Score goals, get hits, take shots, and then complete games, com take more shots. You know what? Let's get as many captain cards as we can on the team here, and then uh, try and get some objectives done in, in, in squad battles. I mean, if we can add a, an 85 after all this, I'll be happy with that. All right, that game is now finished. Let's go see what we got, and I have an idea, because we're going to get a bunch of collectibles for completing these, right? What I want to do is use the collectibles to make a bunch of 82s, put the 82s on the team, get whatever done, but then use the 82s and make 85s. That way we're getting sets done as well, we're getting more objectives done, hopefully get some more coin. So we're going to get an elite pack, which is really nice, three collectibles here, and three collectibles there. I need nine deeks, and I need, oh man, 27 goals. But if I get 27 goals, I get nine more collectibles. If I mean, and I get stuff done there too. Do you know what? We're, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to get as many of these captain cards as we can. We have 33 minutes. Let's open up our elite pack. See if we get anything. I'm gonna make as many of the 82s as I can here, and we're going to uh, see what we can do and hopefully get something good. You know, get these 85s on the team. We got Matthew Savoy at 84, great, and Braden Point at 84. The team is getting way better. I wish I would have thought of this a little bit sooner. You know what I mean? It would have been it would have been easier to get stuff done. That, that's the reality of it. Things would have been a lot easier. We can still get a bunch done here. I need a lot of goals. I don't have a lot of time to get them, but if I can get the goals, we'll be able to add a couple 85 overall players to the team to end this off. So hopefully we can get this done. I'm going to go ahead and do all these sets, and I'll meet you back at another squad battle game. I'm going to spend a lot of time in this game trying to get stuff done, right? So that's the thing. Um, this might end up being the last game. I will meet you at the end. I'm not going to make you watch me play a rookie squad battle game. So I'll meet you at the end after I'm done getting everything I possibly can get done. And uh, we'll we'll do those sets if we have time. Hopefully we have time. We should. We should be good. All right. We have five minutes to go and I need like five goals. 
I don't think we're gonna get it done. We will get like one of them done, but I don't think we'll get everything done. That being said, my father-in-law showed up to help me out with something. So I might add five additional minutes to the clock. Ugh. All right, that'll do it for that game. We got uh, a bunch of them done. Couldn't get all the goals. We still have three minutes left. Do we do uh, a little bit of a challenge here where it's if I can get the goals and, and, and before the timer's out, they count? Why not? Screw it. We, we, we can do that. Let, let's hop into another game and how many goals do I even need? I don't know, but let's just, let's just do it, all right? If I can get the collectibles before the timer's out, we will use them. The menus are just so damn slow. It's not going to happen. We are not going to be able to get, I believe it's five goals that we need in two minutes. I just don't see it happening, but I will try my damn best here. All right. See what I can do. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. I only need two more. Wait, 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 wait. I only need two more. Come on. Hold on. We can do this. Go. Stop. I don't want to watch the damn celebration in the replay. Just hurry up. Oh my god, he saved it. That save's gonna that save's gonna screw us. If that goes in, we can do this, but across? Okay. Do we really only need one more though? Did I read that wrong? I don't know if I read that or they didn't pop up there. And I don't have time to look. So come on, EA. Come on. Help us out. One minute, one minute, one minute, one minute. Oh my god. We're coming down to the wire. If we can get the collectibles, we will use them in the final team build after six hours, alright? Come on. Give it to Briere. He's the best player on the ice by far. No. Okay. Yep. 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 He's in. Back in. Oh my God. 40 seconds. Shoot. No, oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Good hit, Bacchus. Send to the cross. Scores. Score goals with any captain's player. I think that's it. I think we're done. Oh, time's up. Time's up. Time's up. Okay. So I'm going to let the game play out. Hold on. I want to see what we got done here. Did we get the objectives done that I wanted to get done? We did. We got them. We're good. We got it all. It's done. I forgot I can't quit out of a game, like, in a, in a moment. I can't quit out, so I'm just going to wait for the game to end. We'll get our collectibles. We'll get everything. Put everything together. Um, I'll What I'm going to do, just so that way I'm transparent, I'm going to put together the team that we built before using the collectibles, right? So um, I, I'm not sure how many collectibles we would have had. I'm not going to add any of the 85s. What I'll do is I'll build the team, show you what we built, and then I'm going to use the collectibles afterwards It'll take like five minutes. Use the collectibles, then we'll add the 85s and look at the team after that, just for full transparency. So here is the team that we built after exactly six hours of gameplay. 89 HS, 87 Giroux, and 87 Bell. 86 Prober, 85 Stutzla, 84 Briere, 83 Nylander. I decided to use the coins that we had to upgrade Nylander because I didn't have time to go in the auction house. We have 84 Savoy, who could be an 87 if Canada wins gold, 84 Sackick, 83 Zegris, 83 Tavares, and 84 Point. On defense, we have 89 Jones with 87 Hughes, 86 Lindstrom with 85 Cider, 83 Johnson with 84 Bobby Orr, and our goalies are 84 Lars Volden and 82 Jacob Markstrom. That's what the team looks like after exactly six hours. I'm now going to use our collection to make the team much better because I ran out of time and I really wanted to do this and I am being greedy and I am adding time to my experiment, but it has to happen. I got to do this. I want to see what we can get done. So like just by trading these cards in right here, we're getting an 85 no matter what. And that's already huge, right? Do we have any more of those 82 cards? Uh, we don't actually. That was actually perfect. Wow. Okay. Now, collectible wise, I just want to see how many we have. So we have a grand total of 29. We're one away from getting three more. We'll do one from week one and one from week three. I just want to make sure that we're not getting a duplicate no matter what here. You know what I mean? I think the other set is a week two card. I'll double check here. It is a week two card. So we'll do one from week one, one from week two, and one from week three. We're one collectible away from being able to do another one of these, but that's all right. Let's see who we get. All right. Week two is going to give us a 85 Rod Langway at left, a left defenseman could make the team. I think he's better than uh, Bobby Orr by one overall point. So we might add him. We also get Daryl Sutter, a left winger. So we can add him to the team. He definitely fits better. And last but not least from week number three, the final addition is going to be Keith Primo. That's a pretty good fourth line center or third line center. Who's better? Technically third line. So let's put him in. Technically, we can just do this. Bobby Orr is higher overall, so we'll do that. 
And there's the team, all right? That is it. We are done. I think it looks pretty damn good for spending six hours and a little bit over on the game. That's it, six hours, and I showed you every step of the way. So if you guys have any questions, please leave them down below. Here is my six hour team build. I appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Let me know down below what you think. And I'll see about doing this again, maybe like a one hour period where I have to build the best team, or maybe I do a 24 hour team build, or maybe I do continue this and make it nine hours and you guys can see what to do from here. Regardless, again, thank you for watching. Have a great night, and I'll see y'all tomorrow with another video. Happy New Year's. Stay frosty.